Grand Rising Wonderful Souls and welcome to Bronwyn's Cove Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. If you are a new face, welcome in. It's really good to have you here. And if you are a returning subscriber, soul family, let me just pop this out. It's good to have you back. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your comments and your subscribes. I appreciate them all. Thank you. Um, thank you for building this channel. I appreciate you. Um, I was going to say something and I cannot remember. Just know that my readings are for entertainment purposes only. Please use your discernment. Now I'm going to be ringing this bell. This is just to cleanse the space around us. If you have any type of sound sensitivity, please turn down your listening device now. I will count down from three and then I will ring it. Okay. Three, two, one. Perfecto. Now let's see what wants to come out. I'm getting this incense ash flipping everywhere. Now, I'm going to pop you to the side, I think. I'm going to pop you over there, lovely. This one. Okay. I want to just start with um, just getting a sense of the energy that's coming in. Please know that if anything comes up in the areas of um, law, finance, mental health, or physical health, I am not qualified in those areas. So any advice that I give you, you have to take as a, just take it as either entertainment or it's confirmation and clarity of what you're ready to intuitively know. If it really resonates for you, make sure that you are reaching out to those who can give you advice and guidance who are professionals. Okay. Let's see. Now these don't, these are slipping out of my hands in some way. So I don't know if the energy that's coming through is either coming through thick and fast, or there's just something that, it's almost like having something on the tip of your tongue, but not remembering that word. It's giving me that type of energy. So let's see what wants to come out. Let's get, um, can we get past energy? Past and then present and then future. Past energy is a fala in reverse. Now, if I remember a fala is to do with, um, is it like inheritance or things being passed down? Because if you look at this card, there is the grandmother with the child, their child, which turns out to be the grandmother, the mother. And then as the mother grows up and has her own child, she's passing down the same fan. Now, in reverse, in the past, that either this is like lost information or um, not. This is what I mean. It's like not knowing something, but having a sense that something isn't right. Before I read that, I want to get um, present energy, please. Can we get present energy? Present energy for the collective. Thank you. Rado is in reverse. I felt like that. I felt I've been feeling for the last, let's say, seven to ten days. It's almost like being put in status. And I used this example before, but like when you watch sci-fi films where, you know, they're, they're going to um, travel really far, like light years away, they put themselves into status or whatever it's called, stasis, where they are um, asleep. So it, they are aging or they're, they're frozen in some way, whatever. Either ways, that's the energy that I'm getting. So for present, someone here is kind of, it's not a delay, it's almost like a pause before something big happens. And can I get the future energy as well, please? Future energy. Future energy for the collective, please. Future energy for the collective. Please and thank you. Oh, doesn't want to come out just yet. Do you want me to just focus on these two for now? Yeah, okay. I'll come back to this and we'll look at future afterwards. So I'm going to get out of Fala. And let's see what it says here for upside downies. Please note also that if I use um, any type of pronoun, I'm picking up on energies. Like, for example, if I pick this up and I say she, it's because there's a woman or there's a female parts looking person in the card. Take it as it resonates. You can swap genders around if you wish to. You don't have to apply genders if you don't want to. Just don't make it fit if it does not. Now, where is this? I always get mixed up as to where they are. There we go. Othala. And this one's in reverse, but I'll show you this way. It's the pronunciation, the pronunciation, which I always get wrong, is oath or law, oath or law, meaning property and inheritance. Oath or law is the 24th and final rune card. It plays tribute to your family and um, heritage, both the material possessions you have inherited and the attributes and traits that you were born with. When this rune appears, when this rune card appears in a reading, you are encouraged to think about your ancestors and your current family traditions. Which influences and beliefs from your past, including your childhood, have shaped your life and contributed to the person you are today? How far do these beliefs chime with your own? Do you feel there is a conflict between what is expected of you and what you really want to be? 
Either way, this card calls you to be true to who you are and to let go of beliefs that you don't feel in tune with anymore. What truly matters to you? An alternative reading of this rune card is that you should research your family history to discover what the past can teach you about who you are and where you came from. Now that's interesting, with that being in reverse, this is, this is what I meant by there was some sort of blocked information. There may have been a lack of interest, because I'm not getting past as in the last couple of days, especially when you look at this card. We're talking about childhood, teen years. There may have been a disconnect for someone here when it came to family traditions, culture, could be languages. You know, I was brought, I've been, I'm, I'm biracial, I was brought up in an interracial family. Um, my mother is from the north of Spain and speak loads of languages, um, extended on both sides. The family is very, very big, but there was a disconnect there. I don't know how to speak uh, Catalan. I can speak a little bit of Spanish, but I'm giving you that example because there seems to be something here where it was either you weren't interested or someone here wasn't interested in learning something or something was um, withheld in a certain way. And the reason that I'm using that example is because there are, you know, I, I know of many people who are, you know, they should be bilingual or trilingual and they're none of those because for some reason, one of the parents or the grandparents or whoever the caregivers were did not teach them that the mother tongue, you know, um, it could be other things also. But there seems to be um, when we're looking into the past, it's giving me your, your youth. I heard misspent youth, so I don't know if there were other things that you were more interested in. It could have been making money, building a career, going to college or to community college or to university or whatever that may have been um i do feel like the link here just by looking at these two cards is that in, at present there is something here that needs to be integrated from the past or something from the past that wasn't that interesting or wasn't or was hidden is now coming into view and because it's coming into view there needs to be this pause so that you can assimilate this information so that you because all, I, I'm, I remember being a kid and my mum taking me to um, Spanish school. I can't remember if it was Spanish or Catalan school as a kid, but I was already I'd already hit 11. If you're going to teach a child and, I, you know, I say this from experience of working with children. If you're going to teach a child a second language, it's best to do it from when they are extremely, extremely young, because the older you get, the more distracted you will get with life. And with other things happening and those neural pathways have already carved themselves into the brain with, with that speech center you can still learn later but an 11 year old a 15 year old unless it is something that is really like i need this then it's not important and it's going to be harder for your children to learn and i'm getting that there's something here with um i have taken back the power for someone because we look at family traditions, we're looking at family heritage, we're looking at your ancestors. There may be a specific ancestor that was withheld from you or stood back because it, it wasn't the right time for them to come in and give you some sort of information, some sort of wisdom when you were growing up, when you were a teen. I heard you may have had other things that you were dealing with. It could be divorce. There could have been, you know, an, an unsafe environment to grow up in. It could have been just that you moved home or maybe you were in the military or your, your family was in the military and you moved every couple of years. And that can, you know, create trauma when you don't feel settled. But there's an ancestor here that, um, see, I keep hearing después and I don't know if that means slow down. Slowly, slowly. They want you to take something slowly because there's information that's going to come in for you now. Oh, hello. Paper's falling everywhere. Um. I want to read this bit again. Do you feel there is conflict between what is expected of you and who you really want to be? And this is maybe something also that's coming up because this is not just about, oh, I, you know, I get to learn that language that my mother or my father or my grandparents um, spoke. This is also looking at identity. And we get a lot of our identity from when we are young, from our family, from the people around us, you know. And if there was some sort of disconnect here where that wasn't passed over or you weren't given. So, for example, you could be Ghanaian. And there are specific traditions and clothing and food and things like that that were withheld, whether it's because maybe you were adopted or you were taken care of by someone else who didn't know those. And now you're getting to um, integrate that culture back in. And I'm using that just as an example. Um, 
either way this card calls you to be true to who you are and to let go of beliefs that you don't feel in tune with anymore what truly matters to you so things that maybe you weren't able to express when you were young or you weren't able to navigate when you were young you're being told you've got the space to do that now there's a reason why things are either going quiet and i feel like for someone here it's to do with your work i don't know if you're getting less clients or your week isn't as busy as you would like it to be or as you're, you're used to it someone here may be a bit of a workaholic you may have a lot of virgo in your chart or sagittarius i heard um take the time where you have those pregnant pauses we have those pauses to where you feel like you should be filling it with something to fill it with things that you liked doing when you were young that you weren't able to fulfill or you weren't able to follow um it's that kind of energy of why am i getting like someone's parents wanted them to go and do something that was very academic and they wanted to do something that was very artistic or something almost like i want to be a poet or i want to be an illustrator or i want to I want to make bird houses for a living and their parents were like not under my roof no way you are going to be a doctor or you're going to be a nurse or you're going to be a veterinarian blah 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 it's that type of energy whatever it was that you feel like you couldn't do before you're being asked to look into now because there's an ancestor here that's ready to step in they're ready to come back in now and pass you some information now i want to read um the raid ho which I know is usually about movement, travel, speed. It's almost like the eight of wands. But that being in reverse is, I don't feel like it's a block as it is the universe has put something. I keep hearing the word pause. They keep, they've put you on pause for a reason. You grow within this, this time. There's a need to grow within this time. Rado, where are you? There we go. Rado is pronounced right through. Are you serious? right through and the meaning is journey and travel travel is the key theme for this rune card when it appears in a casting it indicates that an exciting journey is about to begin this could be physical a physical journey but is far more likely to indicate an inner journey the rune is associated with the right path being traveled so this suggests that your focus should be on enjoying the ride rather than the actual destination live in the power of now being so closely linked to the forward momentum this card could also indicate that if you are currently feeling stuck in life your stagnation is due to an unwillingness to look for answers within yourself things have got to a point in your life never, nevertheless when it will be when it will be more painful to remain where you are than to go on this essential journey of self-discovery and personal growth so this is present energy this is present energy right now there's some sort of i feel also someone may be feeling quite impatient like I, I want I want things to happen now. Why aren't they happening now? Why is it that I've, I've fulfilled my quota, but I'm not getting the right, I don't know if it's views or pay or something along those lines. And you're being told to stop looking at that. This is why these are so closely connected, even though these are like decades apart. Because there's something here that you're being asked to focus on instead. If you find, I heard for someone, if you find that your numbers are going down, whether that's online or whether you're in the stock markets or whatever, then take the time to re refocus and redirect your energy into something that you wanted to do when you were a child. There's something here to do with your vibrations. And it's not saying that your vibrations are awful or anything like that, but, you know, it's being careful or cautious not to fall into that lack mentality energy because it's not just energy, it's a vibration. And if you're sitting in that, the universe is going to match that when you redirect that energy into something that's actually quite joyful it could like i don't know what it is for you but you're going to be passed down some sort of information when you start doing this i heard get into child mode again yeah you're being asked to really tap into your inner child because doing so is going to give you i had the gift of actualization or a, a gift of realization something's going to be realized that you're going to have some sort of aha moment and it's going to bring in its finances, abundance, um, higher numbers, self-discovery. So if someone here is pushing against something, there's, there's a realisation, there's something that is waiting to be birthed and there's a bit of resistance here. When I first tapped into our energy, the collector's energy, I first felt almost like a major pressure on my throat, then a band around my head and that's dispersed. But now where I feel it is here. 
this is not my energy and it's like someone's anxious or nervous anxious or nervous it's almost like anxious or nervous to dip into whatever it is from the past and instead it's like circling around it it's almost like when a lion a lion think of like loads of lions and there's one person in the middle or there's the prey in the middle and they're circling and getting closer and closer it's that type of energy okay let's see what wants to come from this because i've just heard resistance is futile there's there is there is almost like there, this ancestor is just waiting on you to go okay i surrender and when you do this ancestor is going to step in and be like so i wanted to tell you all of these things and then it's going to and it's almost like verbal diarrhea this this ancestor has so much to share with you and i feel like it's been held back for a reason it's definitely been held back for a reason right thank you very much let me pop this one here and that one there and let's crack on this one let's see what else do we need i just got um oasis i haven't heard oasis in ages so don't look back in anger i heard you say okay so maybe that's a song that i'll have it linked down below let me write that down before i forget oasis don't look back in anger i haven't heard that song in so long oasis don't look back in anger because i have a terrible memory and i won't remember so there is a need for someone here okay so you have freedom coming out here and you also have communication in reverse moving away from what this there is this is the thing they're coming out as an ancestor but i don't know do you have ancestors that are connected okay so for some people you have an ancestor here that's trying to get in con um, contact with you but this this there may be somebody or information coming from a person that's being withheld also and and it's almost like um divine timing and i always i always use like the analogy of um, dominoes hitting those dominoes have to be set up first you know when you see like competitive um, domino hitting and they you know when, once they hit they make these intricate really beautiful patterns sometimes images and sometimes they go over things and under and it's an, an amazing sound that takes a lot of time to prep and to get them all in the alignment get them in the right place and I feel like you have an ancestor here who is saying everything's set up now we're waiting on you you are the you're we're not even on the first domino we're, we're kind of like halfway through and one of them has stalled for a reason we're setting all the rest of them up there's someone that needs to give you information this is not just esoteric information this is verbal information in some way because we have freedom freedom and communication this is almost like um the minute something was blocked off a cage was opened is this past or present past Okay, so let me move you over there. Uh, so you have an ancestor that didn't want you to know something. They wanted you to be free of this. What was it that they wanted you to be free of? Rejection. And then you got guarded in reverse. They wanted you to be free of constantly getting your heart broken by something. So this is about healing. This is definitely to do with healing, without a doubt. And the card radio or ray through was stating that it's about self-discovery, you know, and that being in reverse, this is something that's been hidden in your shadow. So this is almost like a already an, an, an inner knowing or an a, a unconscious knowing, but it's been blocked from sight on purpose. Now let's figure out why. Okay, I feel like someone's grandmother watches over them a lot and I know that that's not the ancestor because someone's grandmother is with them all the time but there's someone else here there's this is not just a family member this is an ancestor this could be like your great 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 grandmother four times removed what is it about 
what is this information that they because i keep hearing slowly slowly it's like they've been they want to give you this information in small chunks so that you can process it because whatever it is as a whole can be quite intense whether that is information about i heard someone's birth for someone specifically about a birth it's quite a big thing which is why you're being giving it piece by piece now you've got pastoral so it could be something to do with the church or a church that you went to or a church that they went to tell me about this please tell me about this can we get some clarity on the past your ancestors are praising you and protecting you light a candle daily and bring them food offerings so you have been protected from some sort of past hurt something in the past but um okay all bets are off walked away threw in the towel backed out cut uh, cut their losses cut and ran so you have an ancestor here who was blocking or protecting you from the wrong people in your past because this card here and i know it's to do with the heart space it's to do with healing but you have just please just please don't say you love me because I might not say it back. It doesn't mean my heart stops skipping when you look at me like that. And there's no need to worry when you see just where we're at. Just please don't say you love me because I might not say it back. And that's Gabrielle Alpin. Please don't say you love me. You have an ancestor here or someone who was protecting you from um, more, more rejection than you needed to go through more rejection than you needed to go through especially with people who um did i had didn't have your heart space in they didn't have the right intentions with your heart space and this is coming from like the first boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever or kiss that you had up to almost like five years ago for someone here anything else we need to know about that okay that's interesting I am a dark witch and I love the chaos that I create, but then you also have step into the circle. The Fae want to speak to you, help us from the inner realms and protection. So in the past, if there was, and I feel like this is in the family. I'm getting very much this is in the family. As in there was somebody in the family and I don't know if you have a very expansive like family, like on both sides, but someone here I like to create chaos but you were very very protected it's giving me like um maleficent and when you think back to the old school like snow white uh, not snow white sleeping beauty that's it um and how maleficent comes barging in after the, the first two fairies have kind of given their blessings and like you know she's going to be beautiful and very kind and the last one maleficent comes in is like yeah and she's going to die when she's 16 and it's not until the the third fairy goes okay but we're going to tweak that no no she's going to fall into a deep sleep and only true love can wake her up and it's giving me that energy of somebody someone in the past trying to do something i don't really know why there is this there's information here that was supposed to be passed to you or gifts or something along those lines and it was blocked and now that's making sense with the communication and freedom it was done so to keep you free so you have an ancestor somebody who is on your spiritual team that only stepped in almost like that third fairy to keep you safe when you were young and they've been keeping you safe ever since um it was to do with i feel like there was some sort of manipulation done to someone's heart space or they tried to do something to someone's heart space you may have been very um open to love or i don't know if you fall in love very very quickly or once you trust them you know you're for an open book and that can sometimes be to your detriment um or to someone's detriment here because once that trust was given and i don't know who it is exactly but there may have been a pattern of people um misusing your trust once they had got it and that's where this rejection was coming in um and I do feel like this is linking in to the present time of this. And this is why this ancestor is coming forward now, because they know something. They know about someone coming forward or an opportunity coming forward or something along those lines. And they want you to be very still at the moment so that you can assimilate the information that they're going to give you. There's a need to navigate something here so that they can pass down whatever it was that was blocked out of your view on purpose. 
be that a gift, be that information. Because, yeah, thank you, Candle. Um, this I am a dark witch and I love the, the chaos I create. Um, I don't feel like this, whoever this person is is the same age as you. I feel like this person is a lot older. Because if this was done in childhood, you haven't got, like, you know, unless you've got Chucky as a sibling or Chucky as a cousin or something like that. And if you know what, what I mean, then you know what I mean. Then that's not possible. But you have been protected for a very long time. Can I get some present energy, please? I want to change things. No? Okay. Can I get some present energy? Okay. So whoever this family member is, is in league with this entity, the crossroads, or some sort of low vibrational energy. I did not expect this to be the type of reading. So they offered a soul that it couldn't couldn't be caught. Panicked and in despair, you reap what you sow. Time is running out. Crossroad demon. Crossroad demons. So that's there's someone here that wishes to come forward. I heard in the guise of a friend, in the guise of a friend. No weapons forged against me shall prosper, but you're very, very safe. I feel like this is, I don't know who it is that needs to hear that. You are very, very protected. You are very protected. Can I get one more, please? Thank you. Law. Okay. And health and fitness is upside down. So this is um, the sixth house. I told you I felt Virgo energy over this. Uh, you know, the, the sixth house, Virgo, looks at your health and fitness, but it also looks at your work routine. And that's why I felt like it was connected into work. Someone here is definitely a workaholic. Creativity is in reverse. I want to figure out what's going on here. Because it seems like it, at present, this is something that either this Virgo is trying to do or someone is trying to do to your sixth house. Okay. Mess up your health. But I don't get that with the law being there. This is more to do with like copyright or um, copy copyright infringement. Um, this is business. This is finance. This is um, competition in some way. Someone trying to slow down your creativity because they weren't able to slow you down physically. Well, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Uh, over here. Oh, interesting. Okay. I've been told to go for these ones. Are you sure? Okay, I've got more than one energy here. Red or black? Black, okay. Tell me about the law and health and fitness. Princess of uh, Pentacles. It's the Page of Cups. So it's the princess and the princess. The page and the page. Someone done something very... Um, irresponsible to try and block they someone's trying to i don't know if i'm getting like trying to report you for something it's like they tried everything else and they've tried it in the past and i heard it would have succeeded if this ancestor didn't kind of like chime in when they did this ancestor coming in and being like well i'm putting this blessing on on the collective as a child as a small baby and because that's not working, you have a family member here. So they've been doing this for time. They've been doing this for a really long time. And now they're trying to go down the legal way of like the 3D way of getting someone to, they want to stop a new beginning. I'm actually learning what the page of pentacles means, right? This one always stumped me. Like new beginnings, investing in something. And that being in reverse with the princess of cups, the Princess of Cups, the Page of Cups, is about a very earnest and a very young, um, kind of like romantic gesture. Think of like when you are seven or ten and you get your first boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever, and they're not really. You hold hands and you like might kiss them on the cheek and that's it. And you're like, hmm. it's that type of energy. There's not much else that can be offered except for, a, I like you. Um, I want, some, I want to get some clarity on this um, page of cups, please. Page of cups, please, clarity. Hmm. Five of swords. Okay, so someone here is having an argument. Okay, so at present, this doesn't seem to be an issue for you when it comes to the law. It seems like they tried to do something to manipulate something going through court. 
they wanted it to go into their their favor but rather than it going in their favor it's it's not it's they've been stuck with something this page of cups this is somebody that likes you so there's more than one energy here this is somebody who likes you or favors you um the five of swords is about arguments it's everybody verbally competing either to be the best or it's just having a massive debate or an argument where no one's seeing eye to eye and i've just got the ten of wands coming out as well which is about burdens that soon you'll be able to put down so it's like the end of a cycle so someone's arguing about the fact that they didn't get the results that they thought they would and I think the reason why you have past energy coming up as well is because whoever's arguing about this, they may be highlighting this and saying, you do know when A, B and C happened, they were protected back then. You couldn't even do that. Now we're going around this route and you're still messing it up, even though you are supposed to be like this dark witch, witch that loves the chaos that you create. Now somebody is watching them. I don't know what's going on here with this. I don't know. I don't feel like it's a lawyer. I don't feel like it's a lawyer. The Knight of Swords in reverse. It's not a lawyer because the Knight of Swords card is kind of like my lawyer card. It's someone that kind of rushes into the fray. So think of like um, when people or two barristers in um, a court case, they par parry with each other, you know. Um, this is in reverse. Something's been blocked off or stopped or stifled. And then you have justice. It's definitely to do with the court of law. And it's to do with money queen of cups that was left by someone that's why i got someone's grandmother coming through i feel like there's more than such a dramatic sinkhole um <clears throat> i feel like there's more than just information or spiritual gifts that are going to be placed on your crown in your hands wherever that may be this is also to do with something that's been hidden from you financially or something that's been hidden from you um physically this queen of cups coming out is definitely giving me grandmother mother that type of energy and i do feel like you have you have more than one ancestor around you you have more than one um you know passed over loved one but this is information to do with some sort of inheritance because we did have oath or law come out which does actually also talk about um property inheritance things like that and it's in reverse so something was withheld all of this information was withheld. Somebody, it's almost like somebody wanted to wipe someone's memory. And I'm getting that on like a positive note though. As a child, these things were wiped or bound or removed. And it's like too many cooks spoil the broth, right? So something went definitely went wrong because you had one person who was trying to meddle with your energy or meddle with what it was that you were supposed to receive both information wise and property wise or inheritance or money wise and then you have you know a guardian angel here or um this ancestor who was like nope i'm gonna meddle with that i'm gonna mess that up a little bit so it changes the way it is and there's definitely an argument happening right now because i feel like what's going through the what's going on through like this court system or i don't something here is more to do with a distraction they want you to be um looking elsewhere they want you to be looking elsewhere now this princess of cups coming through keeps calling to me because this person is a lot younger this person is a lot younger than whoever it is that is working with weird dense energies and this person may be having an argument they either can't afford a lawyer or they're talking to like a PI or they're talking to somebody who, I don't know, does things under the table in some way. Because the Ten of Wands is supposed to be a burden, right? It's supposed to be, you know, this, this person is carrying all of these sticks by themselves and they're breaking their back. But for me, the Ten of, the ten of Wands has always been a positive card because it means the end of a tough cycle. It means that this person, you, the collective, whoever that may be, can now put those sticks down, can put down that heavy burden and go into the major arcana, you know, and then a cycle is finished when you get to the king of wands. There, this queen of cups with the knight of pentacles, you have um, money, inheritance, spiritual downloads, things that have been hidden or kept by others. 
some for the positive so i feel like that information for the positive and others for the negative or for, for greed in other words and this is what they're trying to get back through the courts through whatever it is that they're doing they may be trying to affect someone's sixth house they tried this before this came up before in my readings of trying to affect someone's health um trying to affect someone's sacral chakra especially because your sacral chakra is your place of creativity it's your place where you birth new ideas um it's also the place that we hold trauma both you know because we need to heal both our seed our womb um and your creativity your your sacral chakra is linked to your third eye there was something here about diminishing what you know and what you see how you create how you garner certain um opportunities in a positive light but you're too protected for what it is that they were trying to send this is why you're being told, and that's why I was getting at the start of this reading, there is no need for you to rush or feel impatient if you aren't getting the same numbers. I don't know what that means if you're not getting the same numbers, if you're not getting the same amount of clients, because this is a, this is a pause. It is a pregnant pause, and that's why I said that before. It's a pregnant pause. This is a time for you to, I heard, assimilate this information that you're going to be getting from this ancestor, but it's not just sitting there and going, what well, is it here, there? There's a need for you to channel your energy in a creative way and through that and that opening that that gateway opening from your sacral chakra this is kundalini arising as well because it was the root now the sacral and after that it opens up the solar plexus which is where the inner child lives memories may come to you dream downloads may become very vivid you may but there's something about gaining back memories of youth that you didn't know were gone, that didn't know what weren't there. And in doing so, this actually opens the door for this ancestor to come in and go, well, we need to have a chat. Here's the information. This is what you need to know about. This is what's happening over here with your auntie, your grandpa, your whoever. And I feel like this ancestor is sitting with someone's grandmother or someone's mother or someone along the lines who's already passed over and they're just sitting there together going yep yep no they'll get it they'll get it they, they need to stop being impatient but they'll get it and it's all to do with money inheritance yeah they're arguing about this big time i'm not wanting to invest in what i feel there is something going on here also with the creativity they tried to get some sort of deal maybe they tried to get some sort of deal and the deal didn't work. Why did the deal not work? Why did the deal not work when it comes to the law and creativity? Oh, eight of pentacles, the devil underneath. And then we've got another card. Let's do some chair yoga. Eep. Let me see. Let's come hither. The tower. Wow. Okay. So they really went for someone's business or someone's job. They really went for someone's job and they thought that it would work because they were working with some sort of crossroad demon or some sort of lower level entity. They thought that, that they, they were fine. They didn't realise how very protected you were. And you're only ever protected like that if you're on your right path, if you're of light. I heard wouldn't harm a fly. Someone here wouldn't harm a fly. Like I get upset if I step on, on um, snails. Like when you hear that crunch, you're like, oh no um the devil someone here is very stuck in they're very stuck in like i had the seven deadly sins i'm not christian but i'm getting the seven deadly sins um the tower and the eight of pentacles this was trying to mess up your your creativity seems to be linked in some way to your work to your job in some way um or this may be something that gives you the motivation to get up and go to work, whether it's painting, singing, whatever it is that you do. The devil card is also to do with, it's to do with your job, career, fame, but it's things that hold us back. This is an, the tower and the devil coming out. This is like an explosive tower to do with your work because you have the eight of pentacles, something that you are well established in, a skill that you can do with your, your eyes closed, um, something that you have practiced really hard at. They were trying to shut you down they wanted you distracted on something else while they were holding on to either money, property. There's more. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. This is why you're being given that, that, that ray through 
in reverse. Now is the time not to be, you know, um, allowing people from your past or people that I feel like, I don't know if you speak to these people anymore. They want you to be petty. They want you to do something here because your reaction helps them to do something or it helps other people look at you in a certain way. You've got the moon coming out. It's definitely family. The moon is... It um, resides over the fourth house, which is Cancer, the Three of Cups. They would be celebrating. They'd be celebrating if they could get you in your feels. They'd be celebrating if they could get you in your feels. Okay, can I get future energy? Let me see. Let me get some future energy. Let's see what happens. Future energy, please. I've messed up my cards. Future energy, please. Future energy for the collective. The most likely future energy for the collective. Clarity, please. Who doesn't want to give it to me? Why not want to give it to me? Kenaz. Kenaz is upside down, though. That's interesting. And you've got per throat upright. Okay. I'm going to take both of these and we're going to read them. And see what is going in. Kenaz, Kenaz, Kenaz. Where is Kenaz? Per throat, I have you here. Let's put you in there. I feel like whoever these people are, they're very greedy. They're very, very greedy. To do that to a child is beyond being feral because i like i said i feel like this person is a lot older like this could be like an auntie or an uncle that are like 30 or 40 when you were born they could have been 20 when you were born there's a there's a big space in between i don't know how did they even know that you had this i know that they're already practicing witches but they must have been reading your energy or i don't know kenaz Kenaz is the card, this card is most strongly associated with fire, brings warmth and light in a literal sense, but it can also represent intellectual spirit and spiritual illumination. This card indicates sudden insight, an outpouring of creativity and those aha moments of awareness and clarity. If you're experiencing confusion or stagnation, this card may represent the promise of light at the end of the tunnel or signify an amazing breakthrough that had, has already occurred or is imminent in some area of your life. When that enlightenment comes, you must seize the moment. It is the optimum time to initiate new projects, creative pursuits or relationships. This card also contains a warning, however. Fire is life and fire brings life into our lives, but it can also burn and destroy. Drawing this card could indicate that something needs to needs definitively to end or be destroyed before there can be a new beginning or a period of growth. So I feel like this is more to do with future energy. Be careful not to burn yourself out. Be careful because otherwise you can end up burning bridges with opportunities for creativity. And it's, I think this is a need for utter balance, ensuring that you are taking time to play and relax as well as work. But there's a balance here that there needs to be a balance because there's you could you know be focusing all of your energy on creativity and forgetting to take calls or you could be calling in sick because you really want to finish a painting or something like that take it as it resonates there's a need for balance here because if you don't this is more or less like a warning that you could end up burning down um things that destroyed before there can be a new beginning or period of growth now i'm going to get some clarity on this one so far we've got all these cards upside down and we did get Perthro, didn't we? So we'll look into this. Perthro. Oh, it's actually pronounced Perthro, meaning cup and container. This rune card suggests the revelation of secrets or hidden knowledge. You could soon receive important information or learn something that sheds light on a situation that has frustrated or confused you. There will soon be a significant revelation of some kind. But the most likely source of that revelation will be from the intuitive wisdom you are already within you. Draw this card. Drawing this card could be a sign that you would benefit greatly from taking some time out to meditate and become more attuned 
to the still calm voice within that knows what is best your best what is in your best interest i haven't got my glasses on so i can't see as well in addition it could also be a warning that you are being distracted from what really matters by external or material forces what is external can never bring you fulfillment within you is all the magic mystery excitement and knowledge that you need for a, a rewarding and successful life so you're going to be getting this information i feel like this is a forewarning not to um go off the rails that's for someone specifically because the thing is as well and i've said this before in my readings there's a difference between let's say this reading giving you confirmation of what's been happening and maybe you have a strange parents or a strange siblings or a strange aunties or whatever and i'm not dismissing it by saying whatever there's a, it's completely different though when you are given that confirmation through the actual information this can be confirmation of what you're going through but to have actual papers or whatever to say yeah this person tried to you know shut down your business or you may have to go to court to give witness that this person did a b and c that's completely different it's that kind of i need to sit down for a moment energy because even if you don't talk to them anymore the fact that somebody would work so hard through their life to try and ruin someone else's from birth is just absolutely wild to me and that's the energy that you're getting here and i think that's the reason why kanaz is upside down because you're being told do not allow whatever information does come through to um to break you or to, to to distract you from what it is that you're doing and i heard your purpose though from your purpose let's have a look at this one let's see if i can open it first this is the power of love and i haven't used this deck in ages but my guides really really want me to get this one out today and i heard we're so proud of how far you've come so you definitely have ancestors who are very proud of where you've come come from or how far you've come from wow it says forgiveness you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts and acceptance is straight underneath you are ready to release control of situations or people and lovingly embrace the rhythm of life. And you also have harmony is upside down. You So at the moment, I, like, I feel like the information that's given to you may throw you for a bit and that's fine. There may be a need to meditate or, or look into um, mindful techniques, especially if this is quite intense in what it is that you find out or intense in i feel like there's going to be a lot that has to be paid back or a lot that has to be given to you so it may be going from for example i live in a studio apartment from going from a studio apartment to living in a mansion with all these acres of land this this is something about transitioning in a very quick and very big way that may make you want to sit down and go oh my gosh this has been hidden from me and at the same time, having all of these activations and downloads where you've gone from maybe only, and you may be clairaudient and only hearing things here and there to actually hearing ghosts coming to you or whatever that may be. Because harmony is in reverse and it says you are able to feel loving, a loving, balanced connection with everything. Now, before I go, I want to know about this page of cups because I kind of like brushed over this person, but I don't know who they are because there's arguments going on between the two they're having an argument with they're talking about the law without a doubt they're talking about some sort of result that was supposed to happen or i feel like this um older family member is not so much this page of cups i'd like to know about the page of cups please what do we need to know about this person please and thank you what do we need to know about this person trust you have a strong connection to your soul's loving voice and have faith in your intuition so this person may have realized that they are trusting the wrong person they want you to trust them present is in reverse though you live in the moment are and are able to bring forth the energy of love into your current circumstances so they they're very stuck on something that happened in the past that may be I look at that and past is here through the power of love you release any stagnant situ situations or energy in order to transform your heart space and it's upside down this person's having some sort of argument. They they like you in some way. They may have been the one that wanted to stop something. The Knight of Swords in reverse. This person may want wanted, 
whatever it was that was left to you by this Queen of Cups energy, this Page of Cups, this person who is a lot younger, either younger than you or much younger than the family member who's taken all this stuff, they, have, they, they are at present having arguments with this person. Because I don't know if they knew straight away, but they're definitely having arguments and going, that isn't yours. You shouldn't have that. Well, you need to give that back. Well, okay, so what? You got that result. You got that result for a reason. I feel like they've either found out something. What did they find out? It says here, you are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. So whoever this person is, has either had a spiritual awakening or is trying to heal themselves from the dysfunctionality of family. So I don't, I feel like this person, it's not about them liking you as in fancying you. I feel like this is more to do with them appreciating that, because this could be like a cousin, appreciating that you didn't do anything wrong or that finding out all the stuff that their mother has done or that their uncle has done or whatever that may be and going, well, this isn't right. That isn't right. That was supposed to go to A, B and C in collective. Why have you got this? Because this releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love, they may have, there's something here about cultural, cultural, um, having different cultures, like this family member may have different, that's why I was getting at the start that this could be like an interracial family, or it could be that, um, it could be intercultural family for all I know, um, but there's something, there's, there's, there's a, a massive difference between one side of the family and another side of the family. And I forgot to shave my armpits, I'm really sorry. Um, and the fact that this person may have been, you have a, a sibling, or it's not a sibling. It's someone more detached than that. This is like a second cousin or a fifth cousin or something like that that has been brought up to look um and appease people in a certain way um you know within this culture men do this women do that or whatever that may be and this person is actually dropping a lot of these um negative biases that they've they've grown up with and they see you as being a victim and that this shouldn't have happened to you you were actually deserved of everything that you were supposed to get from birth and they're just like what's going on here how can you be doing this to blood how can you be doing this to blood what this one let me take this one and then i think i'm gonna end it abundance luck and optimism look balance and harmony straight underneath the universe is sending loving rays your way okay anything else that we need to know please and thank you one more card please on the table self-expression and spirituality is upside down so i feel like um that is the reason why somebody here in your family took what they took they didn't like the way that you expressed yourself there was something about you being a child and being very open i feel like it triggered their wounds ambitions and energetic it's upside down so someone's i feel like what's going on in the courts is not just what's happening in the physical i feel like it's something that's spiritual as well trying to take away your energy comes back to the sixth house you know diplomatic humanitarianism is upside down positive outlook this is somebody who doesn't like animals doesn't care about the environment someone who um they're always they're always looking at the worst that can happen so it's like saying i'm gonna go on holiday and then going oh my gosh you've got to be careful because that plane could crash they're always looking for something they're always looking for the worst they yeah look, they didn't like your independence and capability even from a small child that's wild oh my goodness new beginnings are still coming in for you though I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity on what you already intuitively know. If you are new to my channel and this resonated, I would love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content. My readings are open. Have a look down in the description box for information and pricing. Make yourself really um, familiar with my pricing before reaching out. And please do not get scammed by anyone in the comment section pretending to be me. Love you guys. See you later. Bye.